Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Banners of Ruin. It is a deck builder roguelike set in a dark red wall style world where you're effectively playing as a bunch of kind of insurgent rebels trying to take down a co corrupt kingdom administration. I'm not entirely sure. They didn't actually add the ending until the 1.0 version, which is what we are playing right now. It came out today. Uh, so before we go too far, thank you to Goblin Studio for sponsoring this video plus the stream that the next couple of videos will probably be pulled from. So we're gonna play as, uh, do we wanna just do a pair of weasels? Yeah, I like the weasels. They've got some very, they've got some neat synergies. And we're gonna go Blood Pact. If anybody dies, we lose. Should be fine. I'm pretty good at keeping myself from danger. And let's go for a hidden gem. Okay, gain 10, oh, ho, ho, ho. gain money. It's not much, but it helps. And what do we, Something that I'm guaranteed to use every single time it goes by. Round Shield is a really good defensive card, so I'll put it on that at least for now. I'll have to remove it later. You emerge from the black and find yourself in one of the guard bunks. Where the devils did you come from? You can't be back here. Perfect. Okay, so we don't have anything terribly fancy. This guy, they look like they're both going to be hitting this guy. So I'm going to just have him tough up. And then hit. Yeah, not the best pull. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that guy a little wounded in case we get our longsword card. So I, uh, it, it's probably gonna be one of those uh, often, uh, often questions, common questions with this kind of game of what sets this apart from most other deck builder roguelikes. And the answer is the party. I would say. Ooh, I like calculating strike. It's damage and it increases my draw. Draw is huge in this game. The informant. As you turn a corner, you find yourself confronted by a wiry figure. Their identity masked by the dim light, but their noble birth betrayed by their fine robes. I know why you've come to Dawn's Point. The low, dry voice echoes off the cold stone. I can help you reach him. My family are being held captive in Old Town. Help us flee the city and I will arrange you entry... Uh, arrange you, yes. Entry into the keep, Finding a, find a boat and free my family, then meet us in the sewers below the royal court. Do as I ask and you will have your blood. You exchange a solemn, understanding nod with the old wolf before he sharply hurries off. Alright, and fight. So, unlike most other deck builder roguelikes, each of your characters is special, has their own unique perks and abilities, and some of them are actually pretty dang good. Let me take a look at this one. Well, let's start with round shield. And block up. Block does not go down on a round-by-round -round basis. Okay, so two of these guys are going to be hitting. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick. I want to do Calculating Strike, but I don't think that's going to be particularly safe. By kicking this guy, it kicks them to the other lane. Enemies will attack, attack on a lane-by-lane -lane basis. So now it's just this guy. He's not as threatening on his own and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So... In that case, I'm just going to hit the longsword, start with that. We're not going to do a whole lot of damage here no matter what, so I'm just going to take the time, get my shields up. Because, yeah, they don't decay. There are a couple of things that can limit the amount of shields that I have. But that's it. Okay, let's do Vanguard, Strike. There we go. And then we might as well just hit him. Now, we do have a special ability that keeps popping up that lets me do kind of a bleed move. Unfortunately, I don't have quite enough juice to pull it off. Eh, no. I guess we can do it now. Okay, so this gets me three concealed blades. Each costs one stamina, which is the yellow, and none of the blue. Though using the ability originally costs his one blue energy point, effectively. The main reason why it's good is he is now bleeding and will die at the beginning of his turn. Okay. So we've got challenge, mirror and opponents, shield stacks, distraction, unplayable. When it's discarded by a character, choose an ally to apply 18 shields or an opponent to deal 18 damage to their shields. I like the idea of distraction. I'm going to grab it. There's there's a couple of perks that could make that really good. I've already got a couple of these. Crazy Weasel. The weasel babbles at a passerby. 
Splattering them with spittle from his foaming mouth, he is clearly alarmed, but struggles to make sense. Crazy Weasel babbles at you with a manic grin on his face before spluttering into a fit of coughs. Want to change a piece of yourself? <laughs> Weezy can help. <laughs> yeah. Transformer skill, heck yeah. Let's get rid of a strike. They're bad. And we can change it into whatever we want. Toe to toe. Probably one of the better defensive moves in the entire game. And intelligence. So there is fight or flight, but that's an elite combat. That can and will kill me. At this stage of the game, I need some more teammates before I can do that. Uh, let's do the elite combat, because if we're lucky, we'll level up and that'll that'll really change the game in my in my favor. These are kind of across the board bad. Okay, so we want to have him guard. And then I'm going to start with this. We're only going to be able to use a couple of these, which is a bit tragic. But that's okay. An end turn. Bleed will finish him off on the next round, and then we can focus on this guy. Oh, they're doing a switch of Ruzies. Okay. Guess we'll do calculating strike on him. Do momentum, burn kick, and sharpen steel, which should just kill him, because he bleeds out, and then we just vanguard him to death. I wonder if we get a better score. Ooh. I like protection. I like it a lot. I wonder if we get a get better rewards the fa uh, the faster we go. Wound. Bleed never text down. I, terrible wound seems like it would be really good, but it's not. It's not actually. And they leveled up. Okay, cool. So we get an extra piece of stamina and... Interesting. Now, let's go with Acid Burn. Deal 12 damage. If it breaks their shields, apply 10 poison. That's good. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. And we're just going to go Energy. Strange Mist, restore 12 vitality, remove bleeding and poison from each character in your rank. There's also Incision, deal weapon damage. If the target has bleed, spawn a zero cost corrupted blade. So this would let me heal my party, but it costs willpower. This just does damage, decent amount, and gets me some bleed. Honestly, I'm actually going to grab... Strange Mist? I feel weird about it, though. But I'm gonna do it. Okay, Brawlers, Buy Cards, Combat, or a Heavy Patrol. I want to do the Heavy Patrol, but not yet. Uh, not yet. I need, I need some more teammates before I really want to consider that sort of thing. Okay, here we go. This is good stuff. Start with the Acid Burn. There. Scoundrel's just dead. I guess I probably should have planned that a little bit better. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of damage here, but that's kind of fine. Uh, let's see. Who needs a killing? I don't, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to take this guy out. Not with what I've currently got. And once we have one more, one more party member, I think this will get a lot easier. Okay, might as well heal up. And this guy doesn't die yet. So let's just kill him. And then shields. I don't know who he's hitting, but I don't want to let him uh, mess me up. Let's see. We have kick. We've got toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I guess I might as well do toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Round shield, which gets me a smidge of money. It's really not that much, tragically. And let's just go solid footing. Oh, he's just defending. Well, that's that's nothing. Okay, what do we got here? Not a whole lot of offensive anythings. So I'm going to do momentum, burn protection. I don't think we're going to need it. And then we're just going to vanguard him to death. Well, okay, almost vanguard him to death. 
Okay. Deal six damage to the opponent with the lowest vitality. Apply charge equal to weapon damage and then move swap to the front rank. Warcry sounds really interesting. I'm going to grab that. I feel like that has some potential. Okay, now let's do the heavy heavy patrol. Hopefully we're strong enough for this. Eh. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Especially with that kick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll have him kick. So that way we only have one to deal with. Then we'll block. Now let's just do some concealed blades on this guy. And then I'll just chop him a bunch. We don't need to do the strange brew. We're not injured. But we will get, get to that point. Okay, round shield. Light armor, light armor. Looks like he's hitting him. Okay, so who do we hatch it? I'm thinking we just focus fire these guys to some degree. Let's get him down so the one bear bleeds to death. Okay. So it's the front. This guy doesn't bleed to death yet, but we can do a little bit of damage and then it'll knock him out. Uh... And these guys aren't doing that much damage. Okay. So in that case, let's burn protection. Too expensive for me right now. It'll be useful later. Spawn the concealed blades. There, he will bleed to death no matter what now. And we're going to have him guard and solid footing. And just guard. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're more than fine. Okay, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's do acid burn on that guy. Back to him. We do have long sword. If I do long sword on him, there we go. We're good. Yeah, because he. He dies of poison, and then this guy bleeds to death on his next turn. I'm not going to let him bleed to death. I'm going to kill him beforehand. Ooh, and we get some equipment. Taunt. Select the target. If the position in front of them is vacant, move them in. Eh, Runo cards in hand? No. Sure footing is kind of okay, but I think I'm going to skip those. We want a generally light deck. Hello. Okay. So, we have an S-talk, which is 4 times 3 damage, gain retaliate, or... 13 damage, apply vulnerable and bleed. If the target is already vulnerable, apply two. That's actually really good. It's better than the long sword. And I'm not big on the axe, so I'm gonna go with the S-Dock here. Because the S-Dock works really well with momentum-based bonuses. The idea of giving a weasel a warhammer is kind of weird to me, but I mean, ain't terrible. Okay, move on. Okay. Alter. Chance to improve. Drunken Guards. Extra Florins. I gotta go for the money. Lightfoots lets me buy cards. Or medicines. Alright, so we can gain salve. Salve or salve. Oh, three salves. Eh. The masked vacant face of the doctor follows your approach, otherwise motionless. Their outstretched arm clutches a pole with a strange lantern atop it, dimly illuminating a set of waxy vials. Salves, the doctor murmurs in a coarse voice. The lamp keeps them fresh. What can I do you for? Nah. I don't want them. I already got my, my good heals. Okay, upgrade to gain a random upgrade token or buy cards. Absolutely wishing well. Upgrade tokens are huge. Humble's... Ooh. In Lucky Charm. So more money or a random one. I don't know. 
A humble stone well reveals itself to you in the center of the street. A frail old beggar kneels beside it. You approach the well to find the beggar muttering in a low, quiet prayer. Most folk don't know what this is, the beggar whispers without lifting his bowed head. I see the crow's spot on your cloaks. Speak his name and he shall reward you. Again, random upgrade token. Oh. So I had to get rid of something. That's fine. Okay, and I'm going to put this on momentum. That way momentum uh, is kind of a net net zero instead of just discarding something. Mentor, modify my deck. Okay, opportunity to learn something new. Duplicate a card in your deck. Ooh. Okay, that could be really good. I wonder if you can duplicate a card... I'm going to try duplicating momentum. I wonder if that duplicates the upgrade. Please tell me it does. Damn it. That's fine. Momentum is still good. Okay. And I think this one means it's harder. I'm assuming it means it's harder and gives me, me better stuff. I hope that's the case. This is not great. Well, let's see. So they're doing a sweep... And they're both hitting this guy. I guess the smart thing to do would be kick this guy backwards. Let's see, we have sharpened steel, which does a ton of damage. Okay, he's already dead. So I'll just weaken him down. And then we just save her juice. So he bleeds to death. These are good. He's really good. Okay, do we blow the momentum? Yeah, let's... Momentum. Earn that. So we have... Okay, I'm going to do War Cry. And then War Hammer. deletes that guy. And then we acid burn that one. And then we momentum, which cost me nothing. And a beautifully charged carries over between rounds. Okay, apply it here. He's going to hit that guy for 12. I'd say not if we kill him first, but I don't think we're going to be killing him. I don't know about that. I think I think he's quite dead. I was worried about this group, but we, we hit hard... We hit real hard. Deal 5 damage every time you play this card in combat, plus 5 damage. If unplayed during cleanup, damage is reset. Wild Brawl is kind of okay, or another Calculating Strike. I love Calculating Strike for reasons I will explain later. Uh, let's see. Warbow? Nah, I don't want any of these. Namely, later on, once you have a bunch of characters with a bunch of stamina, you kind of want to have a... Uh, Let's see. Hello. Oh. Ah. Uh, when you have a bunch of characters, you want to have a bunch of things that actually burns energy. Or draws more cards. And so, yeah, I mean, both work out. Let's go with this one. Whenever you draw a concealed blade, turn it into a poison blade. That sounds really good. Whenever a character, this character applies poison directly, double it. Whenever they rune a card, gain charge, or whenever they deal damage, apply one poison. I'm going to go with Cutthroat. I've got to. That's way too good. And more stamina. Eventually, we're going to want to switch that up, but still. All right. So weapon cache, weapons and armor, gain doggedness, or... I'm going to go for the weapons cache. Okay. Ooh. It just says goodies. So, 11 damage if the opponent has no armor, bleed. Another S stock. Superior light armor. Medium armor. Another superior light armor. I mean, it's just about as good as the medium armor, frankly. So, the question is do we want the falchion? Or do we keep the S stock? The S stock gives us retaliate, but that's kind of okay. This is a bit cheaper. 
Let's go with the Felshin. Yeah, these are good. And we're going to have a lot of energy to be squandering here. So, weapons and armor. Chance to improve. Merchant in trouble. Uh, I think Merchant in trouble just gives us an item. Let's try courage. Ah. Some enders are hot on your tail. You turn a corner, find a seemingly dead end. Erwing yells, over here, a hatch. Ah, the cursed th thing is sealed. Let's get it, because I think that gets us permanent extra stamina. Erwing exhaustively bludgeons the lock with their weapon until it finally thunders open. Quick, get in! As Erwing begins to heave the hor uh, doors shut, an arrow finds its mark in their shoulder. You disappear into the shadows. Yeah, so slight loss of health. But now... He's got some extra energy. Do we go for the armory reserves? You know, I'm not going to. We're pretty decked out in stuff that I like. I really need it. I really need some extra teammates here. Okay, so we have momentum. We have solid footing. We don't have a whole lot else. However, we've got some other options that I didn't even think about. Okay, so this guy's a assa assassin. So... 8 damage to him, 10 damage to him, 8 damage to him again. Alright. So I think what I'm going to do is guard, guard. I'm going to do Strange Brew. Get us the heal. I'm going to have him do solid footing so he doesn't have anything. We're going to pop momentum. I'd love to war cry, but no. We're gonna go assassin. Deal two damage, apply three poison. There we go. Now if I could get him the ability to make it so uh, all direct poison dealt is doubled, that would get really silly. Cause yeah, this, this character is riddled in poison. Okay, let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Nope. Let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And then, who are they aiming at? They're both aiming at him. So he's just going to do protection. And he's just going to hit that guy. Because he dies of poison. Yeah, we, we got to get him some multi-hit attacks. All right. Round shield, take cover. Apply shield to him. We're in a good spot. Speaking of multi-hit attacks. It's not much, but it's enough. Falchion. He bleeds to death. Calculating strike on this one. So he's down. And we're good. Okay, so the bear... The bear will still exist. The bear's still going to hit me. The bear's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Okay. So we don't have any multi-hit attacks. However, let's do momentum. Burn with draw. Warhammer. Just delete him. Okay, we've still got more? Yeah, we do. I'll probably just keep stacking it on him. A little bit of shield. Oh, I should have gotten rid of the distraction. <sighs> There's a perk called Gambler that I really, really want. But, alas. Alright, let's do a Warcry and then a Warhammer straight to the face. Warcry and Warhammer, solid stuff. I go Poison Tip. I don't, I don't think I need it. Especially if I can get him a little bit more willpower. Loot. Weapons or armor. Uh, let's do, just do the combat. We're going to be fighting a lot of stuff here. For better and worse. Okay, so we have a momentum. We have a calculating strike. And we've got this group again. Let's burn the strike. It doesn't help us much anyway. Hello. Uh, I'm actually... Let's poison the bear. The bear is tough. 
And we can do Calculating Strike on him. That way the bear dies. So he's going to hit for 8. And it looks like... the Okay. Fair enough. Warhammer. Not enough to kill. That should be enough. Just spread the love. I'm curious. I thought whenever you draw a concealed blade, turn it into a poison. So that works for every weasel that I have. Okay. So that's actually huge. The main reason being the poison blade, uh, bleed goes down, poison goes up. Poison gets worse over time for my enemies. Which means I can do a lot of kind of I'm not going to say horrid things to my foes, but, uh, well, more poison blades. Okay, we're just going to hit him with that. He ain't dead yet. Much to buy chagrin. I don't know, why not? Don't have quite enough juice here. Ah, and we've been winded. I don't think winded is actually that big of a deal. Okay. Let's roll momentum. Burn withdraw. And then we just rush this guy. Let's see. War cry. Sharpen steel. Guess we'll just kill him. And then just pop toe to toe. Not that it's gonna matter, but that way it's it's gone. And then acid burn. Doesn't actually trigger the poison. I don't need it to. Gain that increase the no. No, none of these are good. I mean, I'm sure they're good in other decks. But I don't care. Oh, Boat mer Merchant, Informant Task. But that lasts for a bit. Weapons or armor? I don't know if I care. You approach the merchant, who stares through you with glassy, blind eyes. Greetings, what can an old fisher do you for? You explain you need a boat sent to the northern sewers, no questions asked. And like the sands of what you're up to, the less I know, the better. He says reluctantly, 150 florins and you'll have your boat. Your boat. That don't suit. Yeah, I got other stuff to trade. I'd like to do these. Namely, sell. But I'm not entirely sure what'll happen if I don't. It'd be cool if you could do both. Well. Yeah, I should have waited. Alright, so hire party members. I could potentially get two. Yeah, let's get two. Alright, so we have Gray, who is pretty basic, has talent, deal 8 damage to target all enemies of the same race, that's pretty good. I uh, Let's take a look at the other guys. Strikes and guards are doubly effective when played by this character, they got a crossbow, it's okay. I'm not big on that. And, Lone Wolf, start their turn if they have no allies, I'm really not big on that, this guy. So let's pick up Gray. And we'll just ignore the other two. Yeah, I could really use some more party members. Having having a full team of six is incredible. Especially if I get them early and can customize them. But it's a trap. Enter the hideout. A safe house for you and your fellow loyalists. Slip through here and into the next street. Alright, let's take a look at this. So, first and foremost, you. Acid burn, yes. Okay, let's do War Cry, Calculating Strike, hit the top one. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, mm, here we go. We're going to do Poison Blade on that guy. 
We're just going to spread the love a little bit. Okay, Acid Burn on this guy does 12 damage. Really messes him up. So where are they aiming? Bottom, 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 middle. Okay, so I think we'll take a bit of damage, but I don't think that's going to hold us back too much. I got plenty of heals. Yeah, we'll be okay. So I got toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I got withdraw. I do have this. Okay, let's do the falchion. On that guy. He's gonna take nine. He's gonna hit bottom. He's gonna hit everybody. I guess I'm gonna have him do toe-to-toe -to -toe and then just strike. That's like six. Not my favorite. Let's get some poison blades. So if I do that, he's gonna take 13 damage, dang it. I was hoping to save just a little bit more than that. But he dead. Okay. Let's get some more blades. Start mucking up this bear. And then we'll just guard. Alright, I think we're good. This is why I picked Weasels. Their status effects capabilities are just wild. Okay, go to this. Momentum, burn protection, we don't need it. At this point, we've maybe got this. I'm not actually sure. Anyway. Delete bear. So he's just buffing himself. So in that case, let's just get some shields back. The bear's got some gnarly status effects just rolling his way. At the end of this turn, gains charge equal to stacks of fury, and fury increases by two. That makes sense. Okay. Well, we might as well do persecuted. Oh, he's got a little bit of retaliation. Not much. Now, he is going to hit me, but I don't think I'm going to let him. We're going to kick him back. Oh. I guess I'll just give him some momentum. There we go. I should have actually just let him live. Uh, let's see. Every time you move, gain 5 charge. Every time you move an opponent, deal 5 damage. Vanish. That's good. I'm gonna grab it, that way kick is more, use more useful. So heavy armor, start every combat with 30 armor, gain 5 shields and 1 wind at every turn. So that cost me some stamina. There's also superior heavy armor, which is 2 stamina. It's tempting just because it's hard to come by certain things. Two-winded is a little tough. I guess I'll just go with this. We're going to need to get him some stamina, though. To really make it worth it. Okay, level up a character. Thousand Florins. We're just going to level up Gray. Okay, give him some stamina so he can actually take that, and we get him a talent. Uh, let's see, whenever this character kills an enemy with an attack, max vitality is increased by three. Pestilent would be good, but I kill faster than that. Let's go Bloodthirsty so this guy becomes a uh, tank. I'll have to make sure he gets more finishing hits than everybody else. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So, here's the Earth. Around. Uh, he doesn't have anything useful. Let's just hit protection so he becomes tanky. Yeah, because everybody's aiming for him anyway. We've got the Warhammer. Hit that guy. Get him with a rush. Uh, 
And then let's at the very least spread some poison around. Just because it goes up every every single round. Okay, persecuted. I'll wait to use my blades on the next round. Yeah, they're not going to touch me. At least not currently. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should probably have saved up for that. Eh, that's fine. Okay, let's discard Strange Mist. Go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Calculating Strike just for a little bit more. And then Strategy. All right. And then these guys can do some dagger business. So, he's taken 13. Yeah, we gotta kill him. And start working on him. There we go. Bear can kind of go last. Well, I guess at this point, the Axeman's on his way out. We got to do some damage here. So if I do Warcry... No. All right. He's shielding, he is hitting, but for 12. Uh, let's do the round shield to start. I guess if I do calculating strike, he goes down, yes. Let me go here. Get him with a bleed. War cry, acid burn. Get some hella poison. And then we're just going to guard up. You can't touch me. I've got you right in my status effect. Okay. We have a momentum. Perfect. Throw a distraction. Okay. Select a target. Uh, frankly, let's just pop his shields off. And then... Just do some horrid business to this guy. There. He dead. Reckless Aid, second wind. Second wind's okay. I'm gonna go for a second wind. That has some potential. Chance to improve, or the Vagrant. Oh, I gotta go for the chance to improve, though. This is Irving again? Sure, why not? Irving hurts himself, but his stamina goes up yet further. I want to do the Vagrant, because the Vagrant sounds interesting. Okay, prisoners. These are the cells where the informant's family are being held. If we're to find our way into the keep, we must break them out. You burst in the prison to find several heavy cell doors flanking the far wall. As you approach, you notice a crude pair of crowfoots carved into the center of two doors. Your targets. As you lower yourself into the... To the heavy iron padlock, you hear the clamoring of guards echo down the hallway. You suspect that even more are on their way as they call for help. Pick the lock of the first cell. You'll have to fend off guards in the meantime. I think we're fine. I should probably pop a heal over here. Boy, I got some stamina. Oh, that's Ir Irwing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Next couple levels with Irwing, we are investing in uh, other things. So, Strange Mist. These guys. Heal back up. Let's see. Now, I don't have too much. It's these guys. So, he's hitting for 12. He's hitting for 12. Top is fine. Let's do that. Get him with the bleed. Disarmor. Whenever you play a weapon card, gains one stack. Upon reaching three stacks, the unit changes their attempt to a powerful attack, attempts to banish a weapon card. Oh, well, that's spooky. I don't have to worry too much about some of these things. Well, let's kick him anyway. Let's have him go momentum. Do we... Do 
do we want to burn some concealed blades now? We'll wait for the next turn. So these guys hurt. Unsurprisingly. Okay, pop round shield. This guy's going to hit for 20. This guy's going to hit for 10. They're all just wailing on him. I guess it's fine. He doesn't have anything special, yeah? Protection. There we go. Solves that problem. And I should I should frankly be having him Okay. Banishes the next weapon card you draw for the targeted character. Oh. Frankly, I guess that's okay. Boy, these... These badgers are spooky, though. Okay. Here we go. So we got the we got Warcry and Warhammer. That's the stuff. Oh. Could have done that maybe a bit better, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna do Strike. Second wind. Acid burn. Which becomes free. He is hitting bottom guy. Bottom guy is fine? It's fine for the moment. None of them are terribly wounded or put off or anything like that. So let's let's get some poison blades up in here instead. Let's mostly focus on hitting this this dude, man. All right, and then become tanky as shit. There we go. So he does on his next turn. Doesn't do too much damage. Okay. Let's see if I can get a double persecution kill here. Okay, because he's still vulnerable. Works really well for me. Okay, let's do momentum, burn toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Just guarantee. All right. There we go. That buffs up his max HP by a fair bit. And then we can just sharpen steel him, which gets him a lot of bleed. I don't know who he's aiming at, but it doesn't really matter. He doesn't do enough damage. And if we're lucky, we can have him finish him off. Oh, wow, I didn't even think about this. Wow, Warcry plus Rush is nonsense. Set up. Deal six damage, apply to vulnerable, draw a card. I like that. Works really well with the Warhammer. All right, and two characters level up. No talent, but... All right, so this is the Assassin. We already have Acid Burn, though. I'm going to go for the Incision. Yeah, that that actually works really well. All right, and we're going to give him Will, seeing as he's already got Stamina for days. At the start of every turn... Ooh. Ooh. Gain Overwhelm. But extra stamina. No, let's go slippery. That's more concealed blades. Swiftly after after the last body hits the ground, you haul the door open, and the informant's wife timidly clambers out. You guide her into the corner, and you hear a second group of footsteps hurrying down the corridor. Open the second cell. More guards are hot on your heels. Alright, so we have slippery. We've got a lot of things, but that's fine. Unfortunately, we've got more of these Patterford mercenaries, and they're kind of jerks. But only kind of jerks. Okay, so we're going to rotate with target ally. 
gets me assassin assassin and warhammer warhammer 40k right to your face okay i don't think i'm gonna be able to kill this guy with poison but i'm gonna get as dang close as i possibly can no, he did, actually. Perfect. All right, so that way he doesn't actually die. Or not die. He doesn't actually take any damage. And this beaver boy is near death. Okay, I don't think I have anything terribly fancy here. This is a really bum hand, frankly. Who's he aiming at? The one guy that can take the hit. I love it when that happens. Okay, War Cry. Calculating Strike. Falchion. And Regular Strike. He's messed up. Now, here's the beauty part I have a lot of Poison Blades. I have a lot of Poison Blades. Okay, he's actually quite dead. So, we should probably start working on the. I think I overdid that by one, but it's fine. Thank you, status effects, for being, like, the best thing in video games ever. I'm not even being... silly here. Uh... Round shield. Shield self. Okay, let's do setup. Make him vulnerable. This persecution, it's an option. Let's do second wind. Protection. Which is free, which is just wild. And then we'll just make this guy bleed a bunch. I don't think we're gonna get him get the kill with persecution here, but that's okay. What's he gonna do about it? I don't even really need the extra HP, frankly. It's nice, but still. Ooh, red powder is really good. Draw a card for each character in the back rank. Back rank characters gain one vigor. Reserves is also really good. I'm gonna go reserves. We don't have anybody in the back rank yet, but I can fix that. You burst the second door open and find a, and a young wolf rushes out and over to their mother. You explain that the informant's wife, uh, to the informant's wife, the plan of their escape and where they must hurry in secret to meet with her husband. Urgently hurrying the two down a narrow alley, you bid them farewell as you scurry back to the bustling street. Alright! And I'm actually going to stop us here, at least for now. We've got some stuff to do. I'm going to move these guys to the back. I don't actually know if there's much of a penalty for doing so. I don't think there is. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop us here. This is a good stopping point for the first episode. We've saved the informant's wife. And we're right at about the halfway point. As uh, far as uh, as far as this run goes, I think they're about an hour and a half each, which isn't bad. It's a lot faster than I remember it being, but amount of that might just be I'm better at this game. I don't really know, but either way, I uh, I really enjoyed this. This game has some really fun combos that you can do with all the different characters, and like I've barely even scratched the surface, uh, and I'm I'm not even like I haven't even unlocked everything yet. Uh, I haven't unlocked all the playable characters, and you can also get like special talents and abilities that show up uh, after you've leveled up each specific race kind of separately along the way, too. Uh, but with all of that said, I guess one last thing to say, uh, or one last thing, uh, I should probably say that thank you once again, Goblins, for sponsoring this video. It was a ton of fun to do. And uh, <laughs> I guess thanks for spo sponsoring the next couple as well. Um, but beyond that, also, Banners of Rune is available now on Steam in 1.0, it is 16 bucks on sale, 20% off for launch, launch week, 1.0 launch week, yeah. And then 20 bucks normally, which is right up there with most other deck builder roguelikes. And it, it ranks. I, gosh, I need to sit down and actually do like a, a full tier list of deck builders. Uh, but this one's like definitively somewhere kind of in the A tier range in terms of just like fun stuff to do. It might not quite have the replayability that like some other deck builders do. But it more than makes up for that with, like, sheer visual style. I love the hand-painted 
uh, the hand painted characters, and it's like we haven't even seen some of the events. Like they did a really good job. I can't tell if they're three D or if it's just really well done, uh, like two D animation with painting and stuff. But it will like zoom out from what looks to be a two D painting, and the characters will like move and shift in a way that very much looks like they had a full three D image there. Ah, uh, but beyond that, I think that's all that needs to be said about this game. So. I can't wait to see what the rest of this run brings us, and maybe a couple more, uh, at the very least, this week. My schedule's all over the place, but I can try and fit it in. So, with that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I really like deck builder roguelikes, and I can't get enough of them. I know some people are like, no, not another one, but I'm always like, nah, nah, give me more. Show me how you've expanded upon the genre and what you've done to improve it. And the fact that you can have six different characters working together actually opens things up tremendously. But, with all that said, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.